Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we'll be taking a look at the Vintage Driver Chrono. Your price from Stratton Watches is $369. You are looking at a Seiko VK63 Mecha Quartz Movement, 44 millimeter gunmetal PVD case. There are other uh, case options available. Lug to lug or length of the case of 50 millimeters. 12 millimeter stick, 22 millimeter lugs, and it does have a sapphire crystal. Now you see a couple of strap options here. The watch is actually going to come with uh, these two racing NATO straps and this uh, gray NATO strap. This orange rally leather strap, I'll show it to you in a minute, is in a separate charge. If you take a look at their website, you'll see a couple of different color variations of that uh, leather strap. Uh, that you could order if you want it. Um, initially, I did not think I was going to like this uh, light blue and uh, orange strap, but I think it complements the nice, uh, or excuse me, complements the watch very nicely. And then you get this, uh, you know, red and blue and light blue one. I don't think this one really works color-wise with this watch. Of course, the gray is going to match it uh, very nicely. So let me give you close-up look here at the case and the dial As you can see you have an orange contrasting second hand and that is yellow uh, markers there and lettering on the dial it does glow uh, in the dark you could see the uh, loom shot at watchreport.com as always click the eye in the upper right hand part of the screen i'll take you to the full review um, it's not going to be anywhere as close to uh, blazing loom um, it's I'll, I'll list the loom as somewhat decent Let me show you the uh, case back here real quick. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me go ahead. And uh, I'm actually going to put the watch on so you could see it on my 7.5 inch wrist. Because then I'm going to take the NATO strap off so you can see the case back. So bear with me here for a second. It's actually more like a minute, but... Um, Pretend that these straps are the ones that are actually talking to you, and uh, you won't get bored. There we go. There is a look on my 7.5 inch wrist. As you can see, with a 44 millimeter case and 50 millimeter lug to lug width, and uh, only 12 millimeter stick, you know, it's not an oversized watch. It's not super small. Obviously, we have this racing theme going on here. The vintage aspect of this watch is not, you know, actually vintage watches. It is uh, actually done after the owner, Kyle's, um, tachometer of his 77 Alfa Romeo. That is where the vintage inspiration actually comes from. Obviously, as you could see, um, you know, if you follow Watch Report, uh, my colleague Michael Wolf did a review on another model from Stratton Watches. Uh, when he had a Kickstarter uh, campaign up, and that watch will be coming out in a couple of months into production. Uh, very racing-inspired uh, brand here, and there is nothing wrong with that. Let me take this strap off again. Pretend those straps are talking to you for a second or two. And uh, let me uh, slide the strap off so I could show you the engraving on the case back. It is a stainless steel case back. And you can see engraving here very nicely done case back very cool obviously with a race car there matching the entire theme and as I said this is a Seiko VK 63 Mecha Quartz Chrono so if you are not familiar with a Mecha Quartz basically it's a quartz watch that has a module attached to it that acts like a mechanical chronograph so you will start You will stop just like normal, excuse me, stop just like normal, and then reset. So let me try that again. Start, stop, reset. And as you can see, it flies back 
immediately instead of going right around the dial like a mechanical chronograph would. Get this nice diamond hatch, uh, cross hatch, uh, hatch type of pattern here on your outer bezel. You do have a date window. It's a very nice looking dial in my opinion. I'm not a huge chronograph fan, but I do like the look of this one a lot. Uh, this will definitely be, you know, a very nice casual watch. And, um, you know, if you have leather or rubber straps of your own, if you're not a fan of NATO's or, you know, the rally style leather straps, of course, you can go that route, change the look of the watch up a bit. So, as I said, you get these NATO straps come with it. Leather straps are an extra charge. You do get your changing tool. Really? There we go. And it does have the uh, push pin side. And then you also get this nice uh, fake leather, faux leather uh, travel case here. Okay, the watch will come in there. Your axle straps will be up in here. So you do get a very nice package for, you know, a pretty affordable price of $369. Um, you know, Kyle, the owner, he is very active in Facebook groups on, um, uh, especially the micro brand Facebook group and a, and a few others. Uh, nobody has said a bad word about him yet. Uh, very good customer service. Uh, everybody seems to love the watches that he's putting out. So if you like the look of this watch, if you, if you feel it's a good value, uh, don't hesitate to uh, order a deal with Kyle. A uh, very good guy, very good businessman, and uh, he definitely plans to be in the watch business for quite a long time. So this has been my look at the Stratton Vintage Driver Chrono. As always, click the eye on the upper right-hand side of the screen, take you over to watchreport.com. You can see all my photos of this watch, wrist shots, and much, much more. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. As always, please be respectful. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. What are you waiting for? You'll never miss another review. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com. Thank you very much, guys, for checking out my video. I really do appreciate uh, all the love uh, everybody has given WatchReport lately, and I hope you are enjoying our content. See you again.